day. My name's Eric Cope, and my um, contribution to the Crook World Potato Festival is mashed potatoes. And you say, mashed potatoes? Who, anybody can cook those. They can. But my mashed potatoes comes with a bit of story. There was a small restaurant down at Stanwell Park that my wife and I used to frequent quite often. And Errol and Sam made the best mashed potatoes ever. So I'm going to try and recreate that for you today. Now you might ask, why in Crookwell am I wearing a South American poncho? Well, that's because I'm using Andean Sunrise potatoes. Now, there's a couple of secret ingredients and I'll introduce you to those as we're putting the potato, as we're mashing the potatoes. But the first thing we've got to do is boil our spuds. So I'm going to come back to you in about 40, 45 minutes when they're nice and soft and we can mash them up. Now, some people like to take the skins off. I leave the skins on because I'm told that that's where all the nutrients are for in potatoes. Most people peel them and throw them out to the chooks or feed them to the birds or throw them in the bin. We're going to put them into ourselves. Back in 45 minutes. Well, two glasses of wine and 45 minutes later, I'll just give myself a top up so we can get through this last bit. We have cooked the potatoes with their skins on and they're now ready to mash. We've drained them, so we're ready to go. So now it's the part of putting all the bits together. The first thing we need to put in there is a couple of dollops of butter. Butter makes it better. And a little bit of milk, just to make it easier to mash. And we'll give that a bit of a run through. Now my wife made me shift the lounge the other day, which completely wrecked my shoulder. So I'm really feeling this. So it's all her fault if I look a bit lopsided. So there's a quick mash. And I've got to say, these Andean potatoes are so easy to mash. So, salt. Salt. Before I do that, we've got to put a dollop of oil. Now, I usually use just a smidgen, just, and it's local and it's lovely. So just a little bit of olive oil, just to make it easier to mash and get through. But these potatoes are perfect for mashed potatoes. Now, like I said before, a lot of people don't like the skins on their mashed potatoes. I do, um, because I don't eat very healthy and I need all the help I can get. So, we're going to add a bit of salt. Now, just to give it a bit of difference, this is smoked salt and it's red gum smoked salt. It comes from Canberra um, and it's excellent, it puts a lovely flavour. So it comes with a little spoon, so we give two of those, and it just makes it that much different. The other thing we put in is some pepper. Now this is a mountain pepper blend. It's also an Australian um, product, and it comes from the high country because it grows best in the cold. So just a, just a bit there to give it a bit of flavour. And then we'll mash all that in. And we're ready to go. The secret ingredient. Spring onions. These are what really give it the flavour. Errol and Sam, this was their secret. And I'm still using those in my mashed potatoes 30 years later. We're going to keep a little bit on the plate, which we will use in a minute. Now we simply put all that through. I can really smell now the fragrances coming out of these mashed potatoes with that smoked salt, the uh, peppers and the onions. We're ready to go. And of course, 
mashed potatoes with lumps is a no-no. In fact, I remember when my wife, very early in the stage, served me up mashed potatoes and it had massive lumps in it, like it was half a potato in there. Well, maybe not half a potato. But after that, I make sure now I lead by example and mash it up so that we don't have any lumps. Okay, so I'm going to put some on a plate just so you can have a look at the finished product. I've got to get a spoon. Hold on. Here we go. It's not the right size spoon. Better have another suck of this. So, Eric's mashed potato, Andean style, in the centre of Crookwood. And just to top it off, for the presentation on the plate, a little bit of green on top. I hope you use the recipe. If there's any particular things that you want to know and you see me around town, ask and I'm more than happy to share. Welcome to the Crookwell Potato Festival.